Oh yeah, hey, come in. That looks so. It is. Tell me mum and dad are tripped over. I hate to imagine what he might have done if I hadn't turned us, so do I. Just because you got time for a quick coffee. Yeah. Hi. Hi, hello. Hiya. It's Saturday for the trial. When? 28th of June. You OK now? Oh, it's just tell me, Mum. It just feels weird, you know, now when I'm going to have to stand up in court, go through it all over again in front of a load of strangers. Yeah, well, it'll all be worth it in the end to make sure that little piece of scum finally gets what he deserves. And you won't be on your own, love. We'll all be there for you. Right, then. Bags you first in the shower for a change. Hey, okay. and make sure you leave me some hot water. And don't be using my shower gel again. I've only got a bit left. I never used it in the first place. Oh, yeah, like you always say, you haven't been using my hair mousse. What are you on about? <laughs> You've been coloured, son. Hey, leave him alone. He's got lovely hair. Yeah, thanks to my mousse. I don't use anything on my hair. All right, AJ, you shouldn't feel so ashamed. Cos you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead funny. <sighs> Do you think she'll be all right? It's like she says, we've got to try and carry on as normal. You know, forget about our own problems and be there for her. Mm. So, when was she going to tell us? Tell you what? Oh, you and Katrina get engaged. How do you know? I went into your bedroom to borrow some magazines. I don't mean the ones you keep under your bed. What if I told you about Gunnar Miru? I found this. I assumed you weren't placing up diamond rings for yourself. They just want to get you back by rape, don't they? Well, at least they do at me. Maybe it's because you try to take them out of their own game. I mean, you're not supposed to run round trying to rob gangsters, Lindsay. Leave that to the men, like Barry, you mean? Well, yeah. I mean, you must have realised what you were letting yourself in for. You don't rob the likes of the Finnegans, not unless you've got a death wish. I wanted to make him pay for what he'd done to me in the past. Pay for what? It wasn't the first time he's tried to rape me. Oh, right. He tried to get back at Barry by taking it out on me. And when I saw him the other week, he brought it all back to me. I suppose I wanted to fight fire with fire. He thinks he can just take, get what he wants. So why shouldn't I? Yeah, well, all that'd be fine if you were in this on your own. But what about me and Susanna? Did you not stop to think how it might affect us? Well, if he tried to get at Barry through you, and he thinks we're all in on it, how do you know you won't come after me and Susanna next? Look, I know you won't like this, and he's not involved officially anymore, but don't you think we should call... No. I'm not running to another bloke as long as I live, OK? I caused this mess. I was stupid enough to think I could get away with it, but I'll sort it. Oh, you're off your head. You can't take them on. You can't. I can, and I will. Oh, God, this is mad. No, it's not. It's about survival, protecting what's ours. OK. He caught me off guard walking home, but he won't again. No way. And what do you mean by that? I mean, I'll be waiting for him next time. And I can promise you one thing. He's never going to lay another finger on me, or you, or Susanna. Can I have another coffee? <sighs> it's so weird seeing him in the dock like that. Yeah, it's a pity the actual trial won't be over so quickly. Yeah, but at least I've got a date, now. I? You never know. There's a good chance that what they've got on him won't stand up in court. Even his solicitor said that. Yeah, but he also said he didn't want to give us any false hopes. I think the prosecution are going after Luke mainly because they want publicity about this drug rape business. Well, they need to be seen to be doing something about it. It's in all the papers. Well, they can only go with the evidence they've got, and that doesn't seem to be much. Do they need much? Well, I mean, look what happened to me yesterday. Mugged by some scallies, lose all my takings, and I'm the one who gets arrested. Well, where's the justice in that? Do you think it'll go against him, what with the judge being a woman? Well, I hope not. Well, they're supposed to be impartial, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. Well, Callum can't prove I took the money. Oh, come off it, Lindsay. The likes of Callum doesn't need proof. The Finnegans won't be happy now until you've put us out of business for good. And what about me and Susanna? Do you think we deserve to lose everything because you fancied yourself as some kind of wannabe gangster? Well, I've already explained why I did it. Yeah, but the Finnegans were giving us a hard enough time as it was. All you've done is give them the rope to hang us with. Oh, hiya. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? 
No, we're just having a gap. <laughs> what have you done to your face? Oh, nothing. I just um, tripped and scraped it on a wall. Oh, it looks nasty. Oh, looks a lot worse than it is. Anyway, better get a move on. I just popped out for some mess just for me. Mum should be wondering where I am. <laughs> okay, see ya. See you later. Okay, bye. Oh, is everything all right? She looked a bit edgy. Yeah, yeah, as far as I know. So, what can I do for you? Well, I'm sorry to talk shop so late into the evening, but do you think we have the right name for the restaurant? I mean, Millennium Restaurant. Mm, I think it sounds a bit dated already, so I've been thinking of a few alternatives. Mountain climbing, abseiling, white water, that's and all that type of stuff. Well, if all that doesn't take your mind off this trail, nothing will. Well, I hope they have proper instructors and everything. No, they'll probably give us a bit of rope and have a swim for rise. What do you think? It's training for afters. Yeah, your mum's made a nice moose that's in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice box of Jaffa cakes in the cupboards, but don't be eating them all. I don't know why I buy biscuits half the time. There's never any left when I want one. Well, that's our Jason, though. Eat a whole packet in one go. And who does you want to blame me for, Nick? Oh, well, don't suppose we'll be having to put up with you for much longer, will we? No, what do you mean? Go on, Jason, tell us. Tell us what? Oh, Jason's got some good news. <sighs> I was waiting till the parties were together. Me and Katrina are going to get married. <sighs> I mean, you can be a bridesmaid. He's already said I can be the chief bridesmaid. And, no, I haven't. Katrina's got family as well, you know. So you've decided to go for it, then, eh? That's brilliant, love. Oh, I'm made up for you both. Just hope Katrina knows what she's letting herself in for. <laughs> it's right, that means I can get my own room when you move out. That's nice, isn't it? She wants me out of here already. Oh, well, I think it's brilliant news. Yeah, I mean, look at me and your dad. We've been married 23 years in June, I mean. I know we've had our ups and downs in that book. I don't know, get married was the best thing we ever did. Active. 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 Oh. How's it going? Hiya. Yeah, OK. I just thought I'd get started on a wee bit of this work. I haven't had much of a chance lately. Oh, you did dead well. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. I can't see them giving me my old job back at this head. Hiya. Hi, Miss Musgrove. How many times do I have to tell you? Call me Neve. How's it, Corco? Uh, well, they finally set a date for the trial. It's the week starting the 28th of June. What? They're going to keep him locked up for another two months? I know it seems like a long time, love, but it'll fly by. He'll be home before we know it. How does he look? Well, <laughs> as well as could be expected. Anyway, how was your day? Born. I was work. Even more born. <laughs> An artistic genius like me shouldn't be stuck in supermarket shelves. Oh, really? Well, artistic genius or not, we've all got to pull our weight around here. Like that, you mean? I've kept a fiver for myself. Are you sure, Matt? No, we've all got to do our bit, haven't we? What's new, Bosco? Nothing, really. No gorgeous women throwing themselves at you, then? No, not really. Bosco hasn't got time for women. He's too busy working on our T-shirt designs. What's this, then? We're going into business together. If we hit on the right idea, we could be millionaires by this time next year. <laughs> yeah, and pigs might fly. Pigs can't fly? Well, they've got helicopters now, haven't they? See, that Bosco's ace card. He's tech conservation and conservation sells. With this warp mind and my business brain, we will be buying us a big flash house in Walton before you know it. Oh, well, I'll drink to that, love. Because huh? the way things are around here right now, that's our only chance of getting out of here. Well, I know it may seem a, a bit selfish, but all the time I had grants, I really wanted to change the name. And, well, I'd like my name up there, really. <laughs> but then, you know, Morris's, it sounds a bit like a supermarket. <sighs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm sure you already know. Ah, Callum Finnegan. Sorry for the interruption. Mm, Susanna Morrissey. Very pleased to meet you, Susanna. Do you mind? We're in the middle of a meeting here. I was actually hoping to bump into Lindsay again. Well, I don't know where she is. <laughs> Protecting her, are we? Look, I don't know what you're on about, but just get out of here, will you? I don't need any more trouble. I nearly lost everything because of you. <sighs> Not as much as I nearly lost, sweetheart. <sighs> Please, will you just go? When you tell me where I can find Miss Corkhill. You smell nice. Don't you think you've already done enough to her? Believe me, I haven't even started yet. Oh, haven't you? Don't move. <laughs> What's this? Pajala's Angels fan club? You'll find her funny in a minute. Lindsay, what are you doing? And where did you get that thing from? I 
think you two should just leave. I need to talk to him on my own. Lindsay, I think you should put that thing down. Just go. Sit down. Am I supposed to feel threatened? Just sit down and don't move. Now, you try anything and I'll kill you. Prepared earlier. Well, what's that meant to mean? It's this argument about the way 1999 should be written as Roman numerals. You see, there's this really long one, or just min, which means 1000 and 1000 minus one. Well, surely everyone would just go for the easier one. And anyway, it's not already 1999, so it must have been decided. You're going to have to come up with something better than that if you two are planning to become millionaires. This is just a test one. We've got loads of other ideas. Well, I hope they're better than that one, otherwise you might as well pack it in right now. Maybe we are trying to be too clever. <laughs> you two be clever. Look, remember those Frankie Says Relax ones? You want to try something like that? Something that'll appeal to a mass market? Yeah, or all that Manchester stuff. On the eighth day, God created Manchester and all that. Yeah, and on the ninth day, I regretted it. I'd better get off anyway. Well, don't give up your day job just yet. See you. Bye, love. <laughs> He's on another planet, isn't he? They both are. What's going on, Jackie? Why on earth has she got a gun? Well, do you know that money Lindsay brought Barry out with? She only robbed it from the Finnegans. She what? I know. I know. Why has she gone completely mad? Well, what do you think? Well, what are we going to do? She's holding a man at gunpoint in there. We, we, we should be calling the police. No way. She will get ten years just for having that gun. Jackie, I don't think you realise how serious this is. If she won't call the police, then I will. Susanna, what have I just said? If we get the police involved, we could end up losing everything. We're in business with her, and she's just about to shoot a well-known Liverpool gangster. I just think that'll go down when we apply for our next licence, eh? But we can't just stand here and pretend there's nothing happening. I know. What are you going to do? Rose Finnegan, if she can't talk some sense into Lindsay, then nobody can. I've got a number in the office. <laughs> Am I supposed to believe you'd actually use that thing? Well, you wouldn't be the first. Me husband Gary, he was a scumbag, no better than you. He thought he could take me for every penny. Thought he could threaten me with what was between his legs. Nobody's seen him for a long time. <laughs> One step! Just do it. Ah. Uh, foreplay a bit too much for you the other night. You'd have enjoyed the main act, though. Shut up. Just put it down, eh? Oh, you asking me to stop? Like I asked you to stop the other night. Well, I can't stop now, can I? You see, if I don't kill you, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna kill me. I uh, thought you'd a young daughter. You're not gonna be much used to her when you're stuck in prison, are you? Well, even if I ended up in prison, at least I'd be able to sleep well at night knowing you ain't walking the streets anymore. Knowing you couldn't do to it or to anyone else what you tried to do to me. <laughs> anyway, there's no guarantee I'd end up in prison. Did you see the look on Jackie and Susanna's face when I walked in holding this thing? They think I have completely lost the plot. Well, maybe I have. Post-traumatic stress. Isn't that what they call it, eh? You know, maybe I could even kill you and get away with it. <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? Being backed into a corner. Feeling like there's no way out. Well, maybe now you know how I felt. The only difference is... I managed to get away. Will you? Oh. We got here as fast as we could. Oh, God knows what's going on in there. She's gone off a key. Get okay, us in there and go. Ever since the 1950s. Strangely enough, 
Not Anybody fancy coming coming for last orders of a celebration drink? I will. Hey, you're going to bed. I couldn't move, love. I'm shattered. That goes for me and Elsa. I will, Jace. If you buy me a drink, I'm skint. Come on, then. Just say, go and get changed first. Nick, you look fine as you are. We're only going round the corner. Let me go and put some lifty on, then, at least. Hey, Jace, I think you could do with a bit more moose there, so... <laughs> Won't be long. Don't get your bath, love. Before it gets too nice. Whoever the hooded monk may be, and whatever Peace at last. I think I fancy an early night myself, do you reckon? Go on then, love. You go and lie down. Well, it didn't mean on me, eh? Oh, right. Well, you want to watch the tally, isn't there? No, of course not. Can't think of anything I'd like more. Me neither. <laughs> Lindsay, it's Rose. I think we should all calm down. Come on, Lindsay. Put the gun down. Just close the door and get over there. What do you think you're playing at? I'm not playing at anything. You didn't give me any choice. You should have thought about that before you took her money. I didn't take your money. I don't know where you got that idea from. You made a mistake. Come on. This isn't achieving anything. Oh, isn't it? All I want to do is wipe that smug smile off his face. And I have. Now all I want to do is blow his brains out and do us all a favour. You do that, you'll have to do me too, because Just I'm... shut up. Put the gun down. You're only making things worse for yourself. Worse than what? The other night. What do you mean? Oh, hasn't he told you? Well, surprise, surprise. Are you going to tell her or shall I? He tried to rape me. True. Of course it's true. And then I saw them before looking for me again. Well, I wish I'd known this before. I wouldn't have bothered rushing round here. Oi, whose side are you on? This isn't the first time you've tried this. You deserve everything you get. <sighs> Will you tell her? Shut up! <laughs> uh, so what you're saying, she should just shoot me? What I'm saying is I'm sick of the hassle you keep giving us. Hassle we can do without, don't you ever learn? How can he? When he keeps his brains between his legs. And what's all this been about? Some crappy club that's probably going to go out of business in nine months' time anyway. I don't believe this. Well, you better start. You've had this coming to you for a long time. Yeah? What about what she did? Even if she did take that money. Which I never. But even if she did, there are ways of dealing with it. And rape isn't one of them. I'm not too happy about what he's done. But he's still my young brother. I can't just stand back and watch while some stupid bimbo with a gun blows his face off. What are you calling a bimbo? This has got nothing to do with the money or the club or anything. This is about someone getting the revenge on the pervert who tried to rape her. So, so what? So you're not going to stop her? I'm sorry, Rose. Back there. You know, we've been trying to get our act together. And all you ever do is keep pulling us back. She may be doing us a favour. Besides, if she shoots you, it's her problem, not ours. Looks like I've been given permission. Seems really weird after you some get married. <laughs> I know, still seems like a little kid half the time. Maybe that's because we're knocking on a bit. You speak for yourself. <laughs> Makes a change here and some good news. I know our Nicky's trying to carry on as normal. God, she must be terrified of this trial. <sighs> I hate the thought of her being made to stand up in that dock all on her own, having to go through it all again. Yeah, but she won't be on her own, will she? Cos we'll be there for her. I mean, we're going to have to be there for her every day. I mean, I know things haven't been easy for us lately, but we've really got to try and make the efforts. I mean, the last thing she needs is me and you at each other's throats. Greg, we have got to give her all the support we can. Yeah, I don't know. I love you, you know. Come here. <sighs> You're not going to let her. No. You, you... No. Give me the gun.
Yo! <laughs> Aren't Big Brother's wonderful? Uh. OK, bro, I'll take it from here. No, you won't. I'm warning you, Alistair. If you take his side this time, I'm taking Chloe and I'm leaving you. You what? I'm sick of him dragging us down all the time. He's an animal. It's me or him. <laughs> what is this? An Earth Mothers Unite kind of thing? Look, this is nonsense. Give me that. I'll finish this. Me and Chloe. Outside. What? No. You are running out of luck next time. Would you have pulled the trigger? On him? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I know what you must be thinking. Well, I had to do it. There was no other way. Anyway, I've sorted everything out and they should leave us alone from now on. I know they will. And then we can finally get on with opening the club. Just get that and yourself out of here now. From a close shave to someone who's just started shaving next on four, Monica has a toy boy in Friends. Oh, Harry, stop it, please. You'll wake him. Where is he? What's the matter, then? No, he just wouldn't stop. Probably just wanted to cuddle. Or oh, change, and he's soaking, aren't you? <laughs> well, I thought you were going to change him. <laughs> but you were going to do it while we're sat on him at all. I me awake most of the night. Yeah, he was very restless, wasn't he? I've got enough to contend with without having sleepless nights. Emma sleeps like a little angel. Oh, he does his best, don't you, Harry? And when I've finished all these meetings, I'll be popping in at the restaurant later. What meetings? Oh! Damn! 
Oh, look at that. Um, about these meetings. Well, what about them? Well, um, what time will you be back? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to run a business. But um, I'd arrange to meet my mum and dad with Jason about the engagement. Well, I'm sorry it's inconvenient, but I'd really... Well, it's my day off. Oh, I'm sorry. I really am sorry, but I need to attend these things and I need you here to look after the children. <sighs> You doing? All they do is stare and give us dirty looks. Pay no attention. We'll cut off the bill. I'd sooner you had the guts to do something rather than just stare. Are uh, you talking about the lovable Shadwicks? I'll have a word with them. No, I don't want any more of that. At least after the court case, they'll leave us alone. I don't think they'll ever leave us alone, whatever happens in that court. Well, they're just going to have to accept the Vincent. No, can I have the milk? I don't want to keep living like this. Like what? Stepping outside of our house and seeing that lot giving us dirty looks. They're stuck with us. Yeah, well, I don't want to stay here. I want us to go. You're kidding. We've only just told Simbad we're not moving. Come what may. I want out. I can't stand living here much longer, so you'd better start looking for somewhere else. Morning. Any chance of a word? Oh, I wonder what this is going to be about. Well, I was going to call around last night. Well, I'm glad you didn't, because I don't want you discussing any of my business in front of me, Mum and Dad, OK? Why? Didn't they know you were dealing with gangsters by flashing a gun around? The Finnegans have gone. It was the only way. How do you think me and Susanna felt, eh? You saw what Callum tried to do to me the other night, and I wouldn't have just stopped there. Kylie, me Mum, me Dad, you, Susanna. The only thing he understood is having a gun put to his head. Lindsay, I do not want guns anywhere near my business. Well, he's gone. Out of our lives. It worked. And now we can get on with getting our business up and running. Where's the big our business coming from? What I told you. I bought Barry House. It's mine. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. Like you're forgetting the few hundred grand the brewery have thrown in to fit it out, based on me and Barry, not you. OK. I'll give you back your share of the profits. Which is generous, seeing as I've sorted out the biggest obstacle we're likely to come across. Maybe you should sleep on it. Really kicked off then? Not all. I need you here. You'll have to stay. Snazzy cow. So is this a new nanny's uniform, is he? I'm just working off my anger. I caught a vet here. She knew it was my day off. That's just walk me. Yeah, but what about it, Harry and Emma? We should have to take them with her, wouldn't she? I don't think she can cope on her own. I mean, I know she'll be a bit bossy, but I feel really sorry for her. You're too soft, Jean. I oh, know. Jason's going to kick off as well when I tell him we can't go to ours and that Mum and Dad know we're getting engaged. <laughs> You'd be made up that he doesn't have to face them, won't he? I think he's getting dead mature about things like that. Before time, then. Anyway, I'm glad I came round. Why, have you got some juicy gas? No, but I had a word with me Mum and Dad and he said, yeah. To what? Have an engagement party in ours. Nick, that's great. Yeah, well, we haven't had much to celebrate in the last few months, but... I know. Look, um, you know when this trial's over? Do you fancy getting away for a few days, just me and you, like? Oh, yeah, we could do. I square things up with Susanna. Go away for a long weekend, do loads of girly stuff. Hey, I'll hold you to that. Good. Can you put the kettle on while I go and check if Harry's settled down? Yeah. God, I haven't skipped since I stopped wearing the ice socks <laughs> until today. <laughs> I'm not being rash. Of course you're being rash. Well, I just think it makes sense. We're weeks away from Luke's trial, and if justice prevails, he'll get out. If and when Luke gets out, we'll still have the Shadwicks baying for blood. It's like we've got a big finger pointing at us. Get the Musgroves. First Luke and I, Ryan. Look, someone in the police or wherever is going to add it all up and see that a cabbie getting mugged at knife point and defending himself is not criminal. Good. Well, while we're waiting for that to happen, we'll start looking for somewhere else to live. And what about things like a deposit for a new place? We're not exactly rolling in it. We'll just have to work a wee bit harder. I'll do over time. When? You turned down work the other week because you said you didn't have time. Well, I'll have to find the time. Once we've got the money together, we'll be off. Any clean boxes, ma? Can't you do anything for yourself? Hey, all right, all right, keep it down! Any thoughts on the Drugs Awareness Project yet? Oh, yeah. I've been toying with a few. And? You want to hear them now? Well, I thought you'd be up and running with all sorts of stuff by now. 
Oh, right. Didn't think it was that urgent. And with the exam period looming, you know. That's why I want you to get things moving. It's the kids who aren't doing exams who need a sense of well, contributing to something worthwhile. Yeah, you're right. Well, I've been kicking around a few ideas to do with the Millennium. You know, something lasting. OK. That's just the sort of thing that might interest the governors. And if it's the right project, we could get media involvement. The media, me and the governors. Bit of a lethal combination, that, isn't it? Look, what's done's done. But we should reap the benefit of it. Like, uh, you being a great example of the benefits of rehabilitation. <laughs> You ever thought of being a politician? All part of the job description these days. So, uh, when can I expect some concrete idea of what you want to do? Today. You sure? You said it was urgent, didn't you? <laughs> do you want a drink? Well, a large gin and tonic wouldn't go amiss. What? No, a coffee will do. Uh, Kirsty, can we have two coffees, please? You look nervous, Rick. Is it any wonder? Should be enough to see in Tank Girl in action. Oh, please, don't make a joke out of it. Oh, well, I've got to do something, because I feel like tearing my hair out. All I wanted to do was to open a new restaurant and provide a secure future for my children. And now I find myself in the middle of what seems like a gangland war. It won't get that bad. Our partner stole more than £50,000 from a gangster. Now, in my book, that's a bit worse than bad. What I meant to say was... I want out. Oh, I don't want anything more to do with this Millennium Club. Matt! Fosco's here. All right, boss. All right. OK, I better get off. See ya. Mum? Eh... Uh, oh, don't worry. We'll be all right, you know. Thanks, love. Bye. Bye. See ya. What are you up to? Come in, then. What? I'm on the big day. I'm going to be leaving it too long. Oh, I can't wait, mate. Neither can I, Emily. Surely she's told me what colour dresses we should wear. Maybe she should be a chief bridesmaid. Ain't no chance. She'll always wear the matching trainees underneath our frocks. <sighs> Are you sure you don't mind organising this engagement, do? No. I'll take my mind off the other business. Do you want to come into town with me and the kids after this? I look for something to wear for the engagement, too. Yeah, I might. I might have a look for something for myself as well. I need to get a cosy and all. I want to start going swimming once a week. You should come with me. Oh, no. I don't think so. Why not? It's good for you. I'll help you relax. I know, but I don't know how I'd feel, you know, prancing about in a cosy. You wouldn't be. I don't know if I want to... Oh, I don't know. Put myself on show. Yeah, but you can't let that ruin. Um, no. I don't believe it. How long they've been there? Too long. You don't have to come in with me. I can handle her, you know. She'd have gone at her heads last week. Against Callum's head? And who could blame her, the rapist pig? OK, I said I'd keep him on a choke chain, but I'm not letting you go in there by yourself. She wouldn't hurt me. She needs me to keep you on your choke chain. I'm coming in. Oh, there's a sweet little thing there. Hiya. What's up? I just needed a word. What about? It's OK. We did our deal last week. Oh, well. There's no one in the Millennium Club office. How about somewhere a bit more public? Miss Dixon's wee establishment. Oh, so it's not that private, then? Mm, I'm a bit dubious about being in a room with the door closed. You never know what you may pull out your stocking top. Oh, as long as you haven't got Callum in the boot of the car. I won't need anything, will I? Of course you won't. Come on, let's go and get coffee.
Janet, be realistic. I am being. You'll have to buy me out. With what? Oh, I don't know. Susanna, I haven't got that kind of money. And I certainly don't think that Lindsay's got it unless she's doing banks as well now. Well, <laughs> well, well you have to borrow it. Well, you know the banks would laugh at me if I went back to them. So I'm trapped into working with gangsters. Oh, come on, Susanna. Barry Grant was a gangster, but you are quite happy to have him lurking in the background. Oh, more fool me. I even wanted him to come down here and tackle the Finnegans. <laughs> oh, from mother to mobster in six easy weeks. All that Finnegan business is sorted. Sorted? She had a gun. Yeah. And if Lindsay wants to run around doing that, then fine. But she's got to remember, she can't do a thing without us. There's no way she'd be taking over. Is that her plan? The way she's been talking, yeah. But she needs us. She can't do it on her own. Neither can we. Susanna, everything will be fine. I'm going to get a new contract drawn up on our terms before she can even think about it, or she'll walk all over us. When do you think you'll be opening, then? In about one or two months. Big, flashy opening. Well, we just have to see how the money goes. We on the guest list? Purely as friends? Yeah. If we have one, I'll give you a shout. We'll bring Chloe. She's really coming on, isn't she? The benefit of breastfeeding. Yeah. Really does help, doesn't it? Did you breastfeed Kylie? Oh, I tried. It wasn't very good, but I persevered. Um, I think I'll go and get a newspaper and wait in the car if you two are going into baby mode. Don't be too long. Well, bye, Lindsay. I'm glad we've settled our uh, differences. Yeah, same as me. <laughs> Thought he'd never go. Get a bit bored with all the mumsy stuff, don't they? Have you adjusted to being a mum? Oh, I love it. And that's why we want to stay out of all the heavy stuff. Don't want our little girl near any of it. I just want to be an ordinary mum. You know, go to parents' evening and hear that my daughter's doing well. Yeah, you do get a buzz off all that, don't you? You see, I don't want to be known as the gangster's missus. I want to be able to go to the school sports days without the other mothers thinking they're going to get bumped off if they beat me in the egg and spoon race. Look, I've enjoyed the chat and all that. But what have you really come for? Are you all right after your problem with my brother-in-law? Yeah. <sighs> Won't leave a mark or anything. Not on your face, at least. <sighs> Not like the hole we've got in our accounts. What do you mean? When I went to hospital, I had a baby, not my brain removed. I know you took the money. Hold on a minute. Alistair's just said he was glad everything was settled between us. And there's no accounting for male gullibility. I know you took the money. 57,000 to be exact, give or take a bit. But I want it back. I haven't got it. Oh, I don't expect it now. I wouldn't do that to you. We're friends. We've got a lot in common. And there may well be more opportunities for us to work together in the future. Yeah, but I haven't got your money. There's no rush. Let's say 1st of December, just in time for Christmas. Or Callum might just get off Alistair's choke chain. Got it? Oh, and don't forget our invite to the opening. We'll look forward to that, won't we, darling? Was that Rose Finnegan? Um, yeah. What on earth does she want? Oh, just an invitation to the club, the opening. And you said the involvement with the Finnegans was all over. Suppose we shouldn't have been lecturing them. Yeah, but there was no need for that. Cool or what? Cool. But I still think we should have something that says something about sex. Ah, cheap. It sells. This'll sell better. It's classy. Well, can't we mix class and sex? If we could come up with a T-shirt and impregnate it with pheromones, we'd earn a fortune. Do you fancy a drink of juice? Yeah. Come on, Harry. I'm Maria. Hey, dimple brain. Eh, uh, all right. What do you think you were doing before, eh? Eh, uh, just, uh, looking. Yeah, well, don't, cos that'll have caused enough trouble. I'll change, just leave it. We need to be told. Now, right, let's just go into town. Bosco! You're a meth! Look, it, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry. So you should be. Come on, Shane. Sex sells, eh? Well, 
Who wants the sexy slogan to sell these T-shirts? How about sex stinks? I reckon I'll could go for that one. All right. Send back. Can I extend an olive branch here? Will my front door keys be on the end of it? Well, they could be. Sooner than you think. What? Look, all this bitterness between us. Yeah, which I didn't start. I know that. We didn't want it to turn out like this, and, well, we're sorry it has done. We'll be moving on as soon as we can. Very soon, if it works out. Straight up? Well, that's a step in the right direction. Can I buy you a drink later? Fabruki? See you over there. All right, Mr. Howard. Just getting me posters up. Yeah, someone in the sports hall. And one in the dining room. Yes, well, everyone uses them at one time or another. Come on, then. Spill the beans. What are the projects? Right. Numero uno, I'm going to get the kids to make their own video on drugs prevention. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to get them to write it themselves. It'll be a sort of sequel to that play we did. Yeah, well, you have no shortage of volunteers with that. They still love the camera. And something a bit fancier, I'm going to get them to make a tapestry. As in Bayer? Got it in one. And if I can organise a sponsor, that's the local community involved. Now, the governors will love that. See, they've got a thousand years of events to pick from. Right? And it's two different ways of recording history. You know, the old and the new, but both is important. And that's just the sort of initiative I expected from you. Thanks. No, thank you. Might even do a bit of the tapestry myself. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Let's hope this is the last of our troubles together. Soon, right? So when do you think you'll be going, then? As soon as we can, really. We're working as hard as we can to save up money for the new place. <laughs> Even Matt's flogging T-shirts to help us out. So it's like you're not too optimistic about your loot getting off with it, then? I'm sure he'll get off. How come? No evidence. Well, you've got the button, haven't he? Button? Sure, what's that going to prove? It's a sham. I reckon they're doing this as some sort of test case to see if they can get a prosecution with the flimsiest possible evidence to set a precedent or something. Mm, that's mad. Thank you. That's what we've been saying all along. So, roll on June and let's get justice done. I'll drink to that. One night, huh? You are? One night of madness at that party in Mick Johnson's and all that. I'll never understand it. That's your favourite, some peanut butter on that one, here. And draw the picture for your dad, go on. Hi, Dad. Hello. Where's my mum? Work. Right, come on, my love. You go and get ready for Demi's party. OK, Mum. Hey, kidder. I've had a brilliant day today. You know John Howard? The fellow who's taken over from <coughs> that dead leg Thornton. Well, he's backing me all the way on my projects. What projects? I'm doing this drugs awareness thing, aren't I? And I'm branching out into tapestries. I mean, he loved the idea of the drugs video. But when I said about the tapestry, I thought he was going to get his darning needles out there and then on the spot. Are you listening to me? Yeah. You're getting a tapestry. No, love. We're making a tapestry. It's going to be brilliant. Different style to this, like. Come on, what's up now? Nothing. I'm just tired. That's straight up? Yeah. Lindsay, that was an accident, wasn't it? Well, what else would it be? I'm just worried, love. About what? Well, I suppose I can't believe our good luck in ripping the Finnegan's off for that amount of money. It was stupid, far too risky. But we got away with it, didn't we? Or did we? Well, like you said, they'd be round here doing whatever. Oh, it's just money worries, Dad. The sooner I get this club open and start paying off my debts, the better. Right, I'll go see to Kylie. That's fancy another. Yeah, another water for me, please. Do you want a pint? Ah, uh, no chance. Thanks all the same, though. Are you on the wagon? Yeah, I'm better off without it. So if it wasn't for that stuff, I could be in Nashville or someplace like that. Nashville? How come? I was in a band. Played bass. Oh, wow. Yeah, I always wanted to play the guitar myself. They were great. Big things planned. And I started on the Jews. Good money always burned a hole in my pocket. <laughs> Gigs and girls, huh? 
Sounds all right to me. Oh, it was great. Until I got drunk one night, got into a bit of bother, jumped off a bridge and damaged my hand. Some bit of bother, that. <laughs> Had his compensations, though. I met Neve at the hospital where I was getting my hand fixed. Anyway, the band replaced me. For how long? For good. Just for drinking. So much for sex, drugs and rock and roll, eh? I couldn't have played professionally, not for any length of time. So the band moved on. I went to the States and did really well. My big dream went west because of drink. So I put you off, eh? Yeah, it's all for the good, really. <laughs> I tend to go really over the top when I get started. There's no telling what I'll do. Struggling to stay teetotal, way. Eh? <laughs> yeah. And I lapse every now and again. I don't know what I get up to. It's like blackouts. That's how bad I get. I'm kind of totally unaware of what I'm doing, where I am. That's what I was saying earlier about Mick Johnson's party. Oh, I. I'm ashamed of what I did. I shouldn't have even been there. A kid's party, for God's sake, and me a drunken fool gate crushing. <sighs> one night, one damn night, everything goes haywire. Me drunk out of my mind. My son has to take the blame for the rape. It's not right. None of it. I'll, um, I'll get them in. Oh, sorry, lad. Um, I'll play some argument on the class of water. Yeah. Total Brookside by Jeff Tibbles is available now from most bookshops priced $9.99. Next tonight, High Performance Motors get the runaround on Driven. Everything okay? I thought you solicitors were early starters. We are. I was in the office at seven. This is the first chance I've had to grab some breakfast. Listen, I was going to call in to ask Katie to book an appointment for me. What about? Well, I need some advice on the ownership of the Millennium Club. Oh. Yeah, well, you could say that circumstances have um, changed. OK. Do you have the existing contract here? Yeah, in the office. I'll take it with me. Come in later, see if I've had a chance to look it over. OK, thanks. Mm. I know it's sly on her, but imagine how our Luke feels. I needed that tenant to get me dad the Clash CD for his birthday. The Clash? Good one. I know. We had to get this done, though. Dad! Have you seen the iron? It... no. I've got no cash to pay for no irons, either. You let me to him. Cos you making me iron on all them T-shirt transfers? All right, I'll get one from Wick. So you're going to be working this week for nothing? Better than the red and dead. Make sure you smooth the putty off with a knife or something. Will you off? I'm going round the solicitors, see if he's heard anything about the charges against me from the police. Why don't you just phone them up? I can't stand another inquisition about the flaming iron going missing. See you later. Hi. 
Aye, thank you. That looks healthy. It's only a butty. Grilled bacon. Bacon, egg, double sausage, all fried as ordered. The doctor told you to stick to a healthy diet. I need a good brekkie inside me. Besides, I'll burn it all off with all the running around to do. Running around? The only exercise you ever get is when you walk over to put the kettle on. I go to the old sailors. In the car. Hey, I do a lot of walking, me. Only to the garage to get a paper. You wouldn't last five minutes if you went on a proper walk. Oh, here we go. You're off on that one about the rambling club again, are you? I've told you, all that poncing around the countryside with sociology lectures and geography teachers isn't for me. They're not a bit like that. They're nice people. And besides, I wouldn't take you anywhere. You'd embarrass me. Oh, well, that's charming, that. Your fitness, I mean. You'd be lagging behind from the start. Don't talk, wet. Strolling around the countryside is not exactly hard work, now, is it? That's what you think. I'd even struggle myself now. It's so long since I've been. How about we take the morning off and go on one of these rambles? Just the two of us. That way I won't embarrass you. We can't. What about work? We haven't got a lot on. We can easily get off for a few hours. But you haven't even got the right gear. You need proper walking boots. Ah, Michael's got a pair. I'll borrow his. Anyway, don't you worry about me. You know what? I reckon you're just worried I'll prove you wrong. All right, you're on. It's worth taking the time off work just to prove to you how unfit you really are. I'll just pop home and get changed. See you back here. Right. Um, what have you been told about your diet? Carry on clogging up your arteries like that and you won't live to see the millennium. Millennium, Mike. Ah, Michael, can I borrow your boots some? No chance. Not wearing my best boots to go trampling around in the mud. The walking boots, aren't they? In any way, you lot are forever on at me to do some exercise. Here's your chance to help. You're not having me best gear to go rambling in. All my house stuff's under the bed. Help yourself today. Rambling? Yeah, Anthea reckons I'm not up to it. Yeah, well, you just don't be overdoing it. Do you know what? I'm sure you two think I'm some kind of decrepit old pensioner. Yeah. Well, I'll soon prove to you that I'm a lot fitter than you think I am. Oh, hold on. He's just come in. It's Mrs. Cuddington for you. What does that wicked witch want now? Just pushing you through. No. No, I thought I made it clear last night. No. Hiya. Hiya. Is Mr Cuddington in? Um, yeah, but he's just on the phone. Can I help? I was just wondering uh, if he'd heard anything from the police, you know, about the charges against me. I don't think he has, but if you just sit down, I'll ask him as soon as he's finished. Oh, don't be so Look, if she calls again today... Morning. Hiya. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd heard anything. What about Luke? But no, about me. Do you have an appointment? Well, I... Um, well, your ten o'clock's a no-show and your next appointment is Mrs Howell. Oh, Lord, spare us from Mrs Howell. Well, come on in, then. Anything's better than that. Uh, yeah, thanks. Make some coffee, will you? Please. <laughs> <sighs> What's going Oh, my daddy's probably realised you're right and bottled out. Yeah, I know that, Susanna, and I'm seeing Nathan Cuddington about it later. Just chill out, will you? I'm only going to take him out for a mile or two. That should be enough to show him how unfit he is. Yeah, OK. Bye. Oh, no. Shame of it. Ready, then. You can't go walking like that. Why not? Do you look like a right Ted? You need proper boots. You're not wearing boots. Mine are in the car. Yeah, well, he wouldn't lend me his, would he? Anyway, walking boots, running shoes, they're all the same. But look, will you stop worrying? Come on, I'll be fine. Um, it's all very well you two swanning off for a nice walk, but I'm still waiting for you to organise someone to do the garden on the parade. It's all sorts of Jacqueline. Alex's going to do it. He's in that band. Well, I don't know whether I'm happy employing a Musgrove. I had enough trouble getting rid of that look. But that's the beauty of it. You're not employing him. We are. Alex, all right. Oh, is he? Then how come he kicked off an air over Susanna breastfeeding? Yeah, well, women whipping the thing he's out to be. You know, well, it's not natural, is it? <laughs> well, when I say not natural, I don't mean that breastfeeding's not natural because it, well, it, like, obviously is, but... Am I sounding like a sad old fart here? You said it, Pops. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm just trying to explain how Alec... If Alec's any bother or you're not happy with his work, I promise we'll get someone else in straight away. OK, but the first sign of trouble and I want him gone. Don't worry. We'll make sure he does a good job of the gardening and keeps himself to himself. Come on. Right. Now, can I show you what I'm made of? A bit like Susanna did, eh? Mm -hmm. 
If I spent all my time chasing the police trying to get decisions out of them, I'd have no time to do anything else. Can't you just give them a quick call to find out whether they've decided to press charges or not? <sighs> you were bailed for six weeks. They don't have to make a decision until then at the earliest. Yeah, but they might have already made their mind up by now. <sighs> Yep, uh, Sergeant Glover, please. It's Nathan Cuddington from Levi Brown and Saunderson. Some sugar there and some Jaffa cakes. Thanks. Uh, is there any chance of you making some coffee that doesn't resemble crude oil? Are they too strong? Well, mine's great. Can you put some more milk in there, please? You know, I hope you're more civil to people when you're acting on my behalf. I'm sorry if my manner towards my staff doesn't meet with your approval, but I'm sure you could find another solicitor out there somewhere who's more chummy. Whether or not he'd get you off this charge is another matter, but at least he'd be more gracious to his secretary. Hello? Yes. Stand back. Uh, what did you about last night? What about? Well, you know, when I was saying about playing the guitar, you said it was something you always wanted to do. Well, I was thinking, why don't I give you a few lessons? Look, I don't think I'm going to have the time, you know. Oh, come on. It's nothing to be frightened of. I'll call up to you as later, show you a few easy chords. See if you can pick it up. Thanks, but uh, not today. I've got loads to do, you know. All oh, right. Next week, maybe? Look, thanks, but I'm really not interested, OK? All right. See you, then. What's up with Joey? Give me more grief, is he? Mm, exactly the opposite, actually. He's trying to be really friendly, but I just can't be bothered with him. Why? What's he done now? Oh, something that he said last night, you know. Oh, right. Like what? Uh, no, just forget it. Ron, will you slow down? What's up? Can't you take the pace? It's supposed to be an enjoyable walk, not a cross-country run. Hi, all right. I suppose now we've done a couple of miles, we could afford to have a little rest. We've done about half a mile, if that. Half a mile? You sure? Of course I am. But you're right. I could do with the rest. days that end in Y. You know, you shouldn't let him treat you like that. You're no servant. No, oh, I'll just ignore him. Anyway, I heard you standing up with me before. Thanks. Did you find out what's going on with your case? No, he's waiting for the police to get back in touch. Mm. I hope it goes OK for you. So do I. We've got enough to worry about as it is. Hey, you don't know any good jokes, do you? I could do with cheering up. Why don't you just go and have a good night out? I know it's not the answer, but at least the anger will take your mind off things for a bit. Uh, I think I'd better wait till I've got something to celebrate. Well, how about helping me celebrate escaping from here for one day a week? I start my legal secretary's course on Friday. Oh, that sounds like a good reason to go and get wasted. How about tonight? Mm, I'd love to. I couldn't stand the thought of facing him with a hangover in the morning. Friday night, then? Yeah, great. <sighs> see you Friday, then. Yes, yeah, see ya. That client, this work, this filing. That pig. I really think we should head back now. I just missed my step, that's all. You look worn out and your feet must be soaked through. I'm fine. You don't look it. Now, come on, enough's enough. I told you, don't worry. I can go on for miles yet. <gasps> are you OK? Yes. Why are you doing this? What? Trying to prove you're still a he-man. I'm not... You don't want to be stuck with some old crock, do you? How old are you? Old enough to know better. Can we go home now, please, miss?
starting to take over things too much. The way things have been going lately, I've got to get a new contract sorted up before it all goes pear-shaped. Well, I warned you about going into business with your call, Kill. I can handle things. So do you know if Misery got us as a chance to look over that contract yet? Mm. You're scared to ask him in case he bites me head off. It's been a real knock all morning. Why has his polo team lost or something? His wife was on the phone before. I've seen him from out here arguing with her. Mm, I suppose. I don't know. If you ask me, he's not getting enough. <laughs> Casey! <laughs> well, something not like the way we go with each other. Right, so I've uh, managed to look at that contract. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> you okay, love? Yeah. Take a seat there. Watch yourself. Let's get you inside. You need a hot bath. I'm all right, love. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. And then a couple of hours in bed. And feel it's all I'm all right. I hope so. There you go. Cheers. Oh, no. I knew he'd catch me like this. What happened? He overdid it a bit. What have you done to me, Gear? Is he all right? His pride's just a bit dented. So, do you reckon your dad believed us about us smashing the window plane fuzzy? Yeah, it's a kind of stupid thing we do, isn't it? Like this. I reckon that would come off, you know. I'm not letting you near this ever again. Why? I can't make it any worse than it already is. All we have to do is eat it up and scrape the gunge off when it goes soft. Do you reckon? Yeah. Come on, let's give it a go. All right. Sam, but can we have something to eat first? I'm starving. Have you got the munchies or something? No, but in order to do this properly, we'll have to be totally focused. And I'm going to only distract us. All right, then. We'll have a booty. Sound. And don't worry. By the time we finish with this, that'll look exactly like it was. And I can't change that. Uh, sorry. My fault. Um, well, your contract was, is, with uh, Grant Star Holdings, who have the right to assign their interest to whoever they choose. So, my deal's with Barry's company. He sells the company. Uh, no, he sells its interest in this contract. Well, whatever. It still means that instead of me having a profit deal with Barry, it's now with Lindsay. Yes. And she actually owns the whole thing. Mm, but, um, but you knew all this already, didn't you? Well, yeah. But I was hoping that you might have found something in there to get me out of it. Or do you want to get out of it? Oh, well, that's just it, isn't it? I've put so much in now. Well, you've simply changed from one owner to another. It's not as if you have to marry them. No, I suppose not. So, what happens if I just walk away? Will I still be liable for any debts or anything? Well, all this says is, is that you're entitled to participate in 50% of the profits, if any. Oh, so Lindsay would be liable to the brewers for any money they've put up? Yes, although the debts would have to be cleared before any profits could be declared. Yeah, yeah, I realise that. And profits would only be calculated after all the costs have been accounted for. Yeah, but I'd be working that out. Well, that's only if Miss Corkill requests you to do so. Requests me? And, of course, she does have the right of hire and fire. <sighs> no, I'm running it. The owner has the right to terminate contract at their sole discretion at any time, and as contract has passed between Mr. Grant and Miss... You all right? Are you okay? <laughs> Katie? BLC, no mayonnaise, won't be long. Cheers, Mike. You're not working today? No, not till tonight. So I thought I might go into town and have a look around the shops. I'm on the leisure, eh? I wish. Is this what you call having loads to do? <laughs> Sitting at a bar? I'm just having a bit of dinner, you know. I didn't know any better. I think you were avoiding me. No, I just want a bit of peace and quiet while I have me dinner, OK? All right. There's no need to bite my head off. I just thought if you had a bit of spare time... No, I haven't. I'm just going to get a bite to eat. Then I've got things to do, OK? I'll leave you alone, then. Sorry. Maximum heat. Knife. Knife. Other knife. What's what you're doing? These are my mum's best steak knives. Let's just worry about the iron. The knives will have to be lashed. 
What are you doing? Give us it here. No, this is the crucial part. You know, if you don't sort this out, we're gonna be getting scraped up. It's okay, I'm getting there. I'll be just outside if you need me. I'm fine, thanks, Casey. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, oh, don't worry, it's not a problem. God, I hate doing that. I, uh, I don't imagine you do it very often. It's just this flame and clubs being a right. Albatross? Well, yeah. I put so much into it, and every time I turn around, there's some other problem dragging me down. Got your wife on again? Talking of albatrosses, I'm married to one. <laughs> so, um, anyway, going back to this, Lindsay could just decide to bin me, and if that happens, I don't get a bean. I'm afraid so. But. Well, that was OK with Barry, because he wouldn't... It's what's in here that counts. Looks like I've got a lot of sucking up to do if I want to keep what I've got. Afraid so. Your best route is to try and make the new club work. That way, everything's fine. Except she gets more than me. <laughs> now you know what having a wife is like. Um, sorry, but she says she'll just leave the phone off the up to jam one of our lines unless you speak to her. You see? Would you mind? No. I'd better go anyway. She calls the Wicked Witch. Oh, and he's really nice once you get past that stuck up act. You client me, minion. Mm. Forget it. Is she all right then? Well, I've just found out that Lindsay Corkle can get shot at me any time she likes. What? So what are you gonna do? Be nice to her. Do you fancy getting drunk later? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, Levy Brown and Sonson. I'm sorry, he's on another call at the moment. Oh yeah, hi. OK. Really? Right, I'll tell him. OK, thanks. Bye. This is a disaster. I reckon it's starting to come off. You're joking, aren't you? It looks even worse. We're going to have to add the evidence. Anyone home? Oh, that stinks in there. What have you two been up to? It's time to clean this. Oh, burial or cremation? I oh, don't say anything, will you? Has anyone phoned for me? No. The solicitor hasn't rung? No, we've been in all day. Oh, great. Looks like the busies are going to press charges. Oh, there's loads of time. They might not. I could take it round there if you like. There's no need. Well, I'll be passing that way later anyway. Is this kind of personal service just restricted to the clients you fancy, or is it available to everybody? I just thought you'd appreciate finding out as soon as possible. OK, but I don't want you using my client list as a dating service. I'm not Silla Black. I'd noticed. I'm surprised you noticed anything that goes on around here, considering the amount of time you spend yapping. Don't you want me to be friendly to the clients? Amiable, yes. Welcoming, even. But you seem to be best friends with every person that comes in the damn place. I'm sorry, but I know most of the clients. <laughs> Obviously. In fact, I'd have let you go by now if it wasn't for the fact that we'd probably lose most of our business if I did. Is everything all right? Why shouldn't it be? No, I meant the sandwich. Oh, sorry. What's up? Something the matter? I've just got a few things on my mind. You'd say that again. You blanked Joey Musgrove good all before. Even I felt sorry for him. Yeah, well, don't. I thought you were one of the few people who didn't blame the Musgroves for what their Luke did. It's if he did do it. How do you mean? Nothing. What do you think someone else did it? I don't know. No, I'm not Joey Musgrove. Look, Mike, just forget I said anything, all right? I don't want to start any kinds of rumours like that. And don't forget, barmaid's on a day. Ryan, it's Katie for you. All right. Hey, yeah, um, I thought you'd want to see this as soon as possible. Uh, what is it? Read it. Shouldn't you two be at school? Study leave, Pa. Study leave? In the middle of the... The case has been dropped. Yeah. Yes, good one. <laughs> uh, sorry. Eh, uh, it's OK. This one's. <sighs> All we need now is our look home. And your mother's iron. Wherever that may be. Why are you looking at me? Because if things can go wrong, they will when you're around. So just find it. 
What's all that about? Picking on me over a stupid iron? Come on, calm down. It, it's not about the iron, it's about Luke. You know, all this business, it's just strain. Which would be helped if you fixed the iron. Yeah? Total Brookside by Jeff Tibbles is available now from most bookshops, priced $9.99. Next tonight, saucy separates for the workplace. This week's mission on She's Gotta Have It. Fine, thanks. Um, is our Leo there? All oh, right. Okay. No, 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 no message. Um, did you tell him that I rang the other day? No, no, he didn't. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you ring when he's ready, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, one. Okay, bye. Where are you off to? You're not at work today. I've got my course, haven't I? Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Are we still on for tonight? Yeah. If you still are. Uh, yeah, Tefo. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Been sitting there watching the 90th rerun of Friends. <laughs> so, where do you want to go? Do you mind? Um, well, we could hit town if you want. Oh, we'll see how I feel. I don't know what to expect from this legal secretary course. I might be totally knackered by tonight. You're not going to let me down, are you? I don't know. Depends what all the offers I get. So, will I meet you up at the flat then? Yeah. See you later. Yeah, see ya. Uh, don't work too hard. Well, I'm saying is, have you got more room here, that's all? Yeah, but we're getting easier life at me Mars. Oh, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You get a bed at your mum's. I'm about two foot longer than that couch, and my neck's in bulk. Yeah, but at least she isn't on our cases every minute of the day. And oh, what's that supposed to mean? All we're gonna get now is grief from your heart, valet. He's a control freak. Oh, it's not that bad. No, then why did you walk? Because neither the change. A few days away. Didn't realise I was gonna be kipping on some bed and nails. Yeah, well, I'm telling you now, I'm not taking any crap from him. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just gonna carry on as I am doing my own thing. Yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> as if. I am. I mean, it's not like I'm some little kid. I'm nearly 18 now. I can do what I like. And my dad's just gonna have to get on with it. I'm sick of finding T-shirts everywhere. This place is a mess. Have you seen the iron anywhere, Dad? In the cupboard in the kitchen, isn't it? No, it isn't. I've already looked. It'll be around somewhere. Hey, I've just been reading through your stuff. I'm impressed. Oh, that. I haven't even looked at it this week. You OK, love? You look tired. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly. You'll feel better once you've seen Luke. I don't know. Half the time these visits make me feel ten times worse. I've got to get a move on. I've got to get my stuff ready for work. It would help if I could find this blasted iron. Hang on. I'll have a scout now. I think uh, Matthew might have had it. Three. Hiya. See Lady Mock. Oh, so did you get the Shelby off then? No, she was having none of it. She said she's got to work. It's a joke. I haven't had a day off in ages. I haven't even been able to buy my engagement ring. You should have just dumped them on it and let her get on with it. That's what I felt like doing, I tell you. She does me head in. 
you going to do about it? About Mum and Dad. I just have to ring them, won't I? I can't leave any longer. You can't tell them over the phone, Shane. At least that way I'll avoid a ten-hour lecture. Yeah, but you don't know they're going to be weird about it, do you? I do. As far as they can say, and you're just some thick old scally who hasn't got two brain cells to rub together. Oh, well, it's nice to know I'm appreciated. Do you fancy a bevy later? I think these two might just get the knockback. No, oh, time's been help you pet stop back. About four, I think. Right, then. The minute she sets foot in the door, you're out of there. All right. There might be stuff she wants me to do. <sighs> so what? You're entitled to have a life of your own as well, you know, Trey. Yeah, I know. Right, then. I'll see you in there at four, OK? OK. Oh, and, uh, by the way, I'm working at Brookie Comp today, so if you've got any problems, I've got them all back. See you later. And, hey, don't be on up any six formers. <laughs> oh, you look very smart, way off. I'm a legal secretary's course at Starter Savvy. Who knows, in a few years, I might own my own car and electronic organiser. What's up with you? What do you think of the Millennium Millstone? Are you sure what Nathan said is right, that Lindsay can dump you any time she likes? Well, I'm just trying to figure out if it's worth me sticking with her or just keeping all my interest in this place. Once the club's up and running, they could really knock this. Yeah, if Mark Hawkill can get it up and running. Well, then, that's the way to play it, isn't it? Convince her that she needs you. I mean, running the club's a bit different to lashing a soggy fish into a pile of chips, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, do you fancy some lunch? Hmm, thought you'd never ask. So if we bought 50 t-shirts at 250 each, that's a lot. 9999 end game. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, I've just folded that. Well, they're not exactly controversial, are they? Hey, tell them what. Millennium Bug Stuff. 9999 means end program in computer code. 9th of September 1999. That's 125. How many have you sold? I'm not really sure. Uh, loads of people showed an interest, like. Took a few into school the other day. How many? Um, Three, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, boss. Three. <laughs> Plus, my nan's promised to buy one. All oh, right. Well, that's four down, 46 to go. Watch out, Richard Branson. Oh, there's no need to rub it in, eh? Well, you're going about it all wrong. These are too tame. The sound, these. Will you stop messing up my pile? You want to make them a bit more edgy. You know, then people will buy them. Shock value. Oh, what would you know about it? Well, how about my son came down to save mankind, and all he got me was this lousy t shirt. Uh, or oh, 2,000 years old and they still don't believe in me. My nan wouldn't wear that, she'd go off her head. Well, that's the point. You know, how about the Millennium's run by a load of cults? Hey, mind your language. Haven't you lot seen the iron? No. Why? Your mother needs you to do a gear for work. Didn't you have it yesterday? Think I might get off. Uh, is this what you're looking for? Oh, what the hell happened to that? Two confessions, Sam. <laughs> Oh, God. How out of order are they? Eh, uh, not too bad, really. There's just a little leak under one of the sinks. I don't suppose there's any chance of me nipping in before you start. I've got ten beanex for double lot, and I'll never last. Well, actually, you didn't look. I haven't turned the water off the mains yet. Oh, thanks, you're a star. Well, I wouldn't make you spend the next hour and a half with your legs crossed, would I? I'm Jane, by the way. Jane Farris. Nice to meet you. I teach art and textiles, and you're... Jason Chadwick. Fix toilets. Well... Jason Shadwick, thanks again. I owe you all. You've made a desperate woman very happy. But shouldn't you be talking to Susanna as well? She'll want you in rather than Lindsay. She won't have much choice of Lindsay owns the place. But without you, Lindsay won't get the brewers in. And what about the licence? That's in your own. Oh, my God, Casey. Of course. That's it, isn't it? What? <gasps> well, that's it. If I go, she won't have a licence. And it'll be dead off for anyone else to get one because of this place. Well, yeah. I've been so wound up about gangsters and prophets and shares, the obvious just got past me. Probably been using your mobile phone too much and it's affected your brain. Well, listen, can you book me in with Nathan sometime this afternoon? He's in town at a partner's meeting. But I'm sure he'll see you as soon as possible. What? I reckon he's got a thing for you. Get lost, he's mad, he's... So? I already told you, he's not getting anything there. <laughs> he fancies you, I'm telling you. You're the only person I've ever seen him act like a human being with. Well, he's still mad, he's... And even if he wasn't, I still wouldn't be interested. I've got enough complications in my life. And anyway, I don't even fancy him. I'm like you and that Ryan Musgrove. Oh, I know. You could have me if you tried hard enough. <laughs> it's never gonna come off. We've tried this, Mrs Musgrove. It's stuck solid. It was the sound face. We must have got a bad batch. Don't worry, Mark. Matt will buy you a new iron. In the next five minutes, you mean? 
I'm sorry, Mum. Oh, forget it. I'll just have to go creased. I didn't know they were going to stick, did I? The sweatshirt and stuff for, for Luke. Yeah, and uh, I might as well bung one of these and give him a laugh. Hey, that'll be four pound, please. What? Oh, you're going to charge your own brother? This should be 6 50 I'm giving you a discount. I'll give you a pound. I can wear it for my new gardening job on a parade. Oh, forget it. Oh, one second thoughts. Go on, take it. Tell Mr Prezi from me. You told me I wasn't allowed to give any away. Yeah, but that's different. I'm, he's right, I can't charge my own brother. Hey, if he wears it in prison, maybe everyone will want one. You ready to go, Dad? We're already late. OK, love, I'll just get me coat. Uh, there's some gear for him here. Magazines and that. And that's for his account. Thanks, love. Right. Dad, will you come on? We're not going to make it. So she's not in? Uh, no, she just phoned to say she'd gone to meet Jackie Bottom then. Oh, did she say what about? Uh, no, but even if it did, oh, I'll... it's all right. OK, tell her a call. What do you think's wrong with it? I don't know. It must be the start motor or something, or the battery. It's, it's dead as a doornail. <sighs> they could be wondering where we are. I'm not being a slag, I'm just fed up of hearing about it and switching on the telly and seeing everyone else had it but me. Oh, I wish everything was like the telly. Everything would get sorted in half an hour then, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh, there's your chance to sort your life out in half an hour. Yeah, right. So, best luck with your course and Ryan. No problems with either. See ya. Oh, why don't you sit yourself down? Mrs. Susanna, then? I'm seeing later. About me? About us and where we stand against you. We don't have to fight, you know. It's probably something we get from our dads. But we could work together. How? Like sneaking behind the others' backs and grabbing everything for themselves? Or having the bottle to sort out the likes of the Finnegans? Look, you nearly lost this place completely to them and Barry sorted it. This time I did. So now it's me instead of him on the paperwork. You still got the same deal you had. Half the profits. Oh, great. Well, that really makes all the blood, sweat and tears worthwhile. So what do you want? I want a proper stake in the ownership, not just the profits. And you need me to keep the brews on board. I could get someone else in like Barry did with Bruno, remember? No, it's not as simple as that. We'll soon see who needs who, eh? Yeah, let's do that. There's nothing happening. You might as well just push it back onto the drive. Just try it one more time, Dad, please. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, sorry you wouldn't have a wee minute, would you? The car won't start and I'm supposed to be... Well, I'm supposed to be somewhere. You couldn't give us a hand, could you? I'm sorry I'm in a bit of a rush. I wouldn't ask if we weren't desperate. I'm sorry. <sighs> no chance, Mum. This is going to have to get the bus. Not a taxi. Well, I'll take you, Mum. There's no point. We've missed it. We might make the last ten minutes. No, we won't, Dad. It's too late. Are you okay, Mum? Yeah, fine, yeah. I'm just sick of everything going wrong. Happy days, eh? <sighs> what happened to you? It's a waste of time. What about Middlesbrough? All right. Neil, what are you doing back here? We was all getting on top of each other funny, so we decided to go home. <laughs> Seen that face somewhere before. Uh, what? Right. again. Yeah. How'd your lesson go? Oh, fine. No problem. Thanks to you, my knight in shining armour. I'm looking forward to you coming to my rescue again. Yeah, I would have done the same for anyone else. You mean I wasn't getting extra special treatment? No. I'm disappointed. Uh, better get back to me, wife. Yes, you better. 
We can't stand here flirting with each other all afternoon, can we? No. So, will I be seeing you again? You what? Around the school. Have you got much more to do? Oh, well, me and my alpha have got the building contract for this place. So I'm sure you'll see one of us in every few days. Great. I'll keep my eyes peeled. See you soon, Jason. And thanks again. Longer, you said I'd left on. Simba, reckon you told him that was it. You going for good? No, just needed some time to get my head together. So you are coming back then? Not unless you don't want me to. No, no. Just like to know where everyone stands. That's all. So what have you been up to? Nothing. Nothing. You must be doing something. Just been hanging out in it, Lee. Doing what? Nothing. So why didn't you phone? To say what? Let me know he was OK. Oh, why, well, yeah. How old do you think I am? Anyway, Vonnie found you enough time, so stop going on at me. Hello. Who? <sighs> Got the wrong number, mate. There's no Bezo here. Is that for me? So he wants to talk to somebody called Bezo. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'll pass it over. Hello? All right, you mate. Yeah, did you get that stuff? <laughs> nice one. Oh. At last. Finally managed. Yeah, it was the electric, so why come loose on a start motor? Oh, Matt gave me a hand. But it's probably time I thought about changing it. Did you uh, get in touch with Luke? Yeah, yeah, I left a message. He'll understand you know, love. Mm hmm Just wanted to see him, that's all. It's like one thing after another. Don't be talking like that. You'll cope no matter what happens. You're like your mother. You're dead strong. Have you been thinking about her again? Since I, uh... Well, you told me about... Well, about the reading. And I was too wrapped up in myself to, to spot what was going on. Come on, like Dad. It's all water under the bridge. But I just don't know... I just don't know how you coped. You've done mom this girl, and, and now I can't even take you to, to see your son on the day that accounts. So what do you want to do? Have a big Ryan and fall out about it? Spend a few more years not talking to each other? No, girl, I don't. So there you are, then. Life goes on. Right. i better start thinking about the tea. Hey, you will not. I'll do the tea tonight. Oh, don't be daft, Dad. It won't take me long. I mean it. You stay exactly where you are. Here, have a look through your reading stuff. No, Dad, I haven't got time. Then make time. It's too important to let it all slide. And if you get stuck with them, then give us a shout. I'll be in the kitchen. Excuse me. Is it OK if I try these on? Yes, of course. Just up there. Thanks. Good old mate. <laughs> Bye now. Two coffees, please. OK. No, I'll get you one. No, I'm celebrating your career change. All right, but I still owe you one. Yeah, no. Oh, it was great getting those charges against you dropped, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it means the other fella gets away and I don't get me money. It's best than the police record, though, isn't it? Yeah, just feel like he got away with murder, that's all. Come on, forget him. Uh, I just hope he doesn't start kicking off. He's a right meathead. Yeah, I know. Oh, and here comes Miss Whale to join him. Where have you been? <sighs> Take a while, I guess. She only just come home now after me ringing her and telling her to finish by four. Yeah, well, I hope you had to go at her. How could I? Oh, don't tell me you let her walk all over you again. Jason, I can't say too much. He's my boss. <sighs> well, I'll have a word if you want. Don't be stupid. I can't have you pulling Susanna and giving her down the banks. She'd sack me on the spot. <sighs> anyway, mine's a cappuccino, thanks. Do you want us to kind of with mum and dad? Yeah. And? And what? Well, did you tell them about us getting engaged, like? Well, how'd it go down? Like a lead balloon. I'm too young to be getting married. I shouldn't be tying myself down. I'm sure you're the one for me. I know you. 
Well, no, not really. What? What, 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 what do you mean? Jason, I'm joking, of course, I'm sure you do. You know, get the bar, I'm gasping. <sighs> so what time's our gem then? Late. Just going to a mate's for tea. All right. Just lying around with loads of snobs, then? I don't know. Have a new shirt? Yeah. It's of course a few bob, eh? Jerome bought it for us. Why? Because he's been crashing in my room. <laughs> so he bought you a new shirt? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Good OTT, isn't it? No. Yeah, phone calls Must be the third phone call he's taken since he's got back. Who's he on the phone to now? I don't know. Smithy, probably. Or Billy Mack. We'll just give Devil this number then. Who are they? Mates. Uh, Jerome's mates, you mean? Am I? Been out with them loads of times. Doing what? No, I'm just round town in that. Yeah, it sounds a bit new, there's no problem. What, drinking? No, playing tiddlywinks. What do you think? Hey, you'll smile on the other side of your face if you get pulled by the police. We don't go to them kind of places. We'll be meeting Billy later then. Yeah, that was him then, flapping in case we'd forgot. So you was out tonight? Uh, yeah. Well, I better get the tea on, eh? I don't want you to turn up late for Billy, do we? What are we having? Got some cut and breadcrumbs and chips and uh, trifle for afters. Um, it's just that. We, we said we were eating at Vonnie's tonight. You've just got back from Vonnie's? I know, but she's expecting us and she does cook nice stuff. Oh, my food not good enough now, then? No, it's, it's not that. It's just that she cooks, like, curries and stuff like that. You know, proper West Indian food. You see, my ma's not really into your kind of scram. And what kind of scram is that? You know, <laughs> cotton chips. We'll be back later, like. You might as well stay at Vonnie's if you're going there for tea. No, we'll come back. I'll just go and get a shower. How was your course? Oh, it was all right. We didn't do much, really. Just registered and got a load of handouts and stuff. I'll tell you what was nice, though. Not being stuck in a two-foot square office with Saddam Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice bloke, isn't he? Oh, I, yeah. Thanks for yesterday, by the way. I was made up when you had to go with him. Hey, what a friends for her. <laughs> they look very cosy. Didn't even know they were seeing each other. He keeps looking over here. We'll just ignore them. Don't want you getting into a fight. Waste me energy. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable, isn't it? Fancy going out with him after everything that's gone on. <sighs> she must be desperate, that's all I can say. Why do they keep looking over here? I mean, he's more interested in us than he's in her. He's more interested in me, more like. How do you mean? <sighs> We've had a few dealings in the past. <laughs> you and him? Let's just say I made a big mistake. <laughs> Tell me you're joking. Unfortunately not. <laughs> oh, you went out with him. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't believe I ever looked at him now. He turns my stomach. Oh, God, you must have been desperate. Hey! <laughs> Still, you know what they say? All good things come to she who waits. I mean, look who you're going out with now, eh? Uh, don't speak too soon. Don't pass the first date test yet. And as soon as Harry starts to cry, it's Emma off. Honest to God, I felt like screaming. I don't know how you do it, mate. Two kids. Do me, Evan. I can push you right to the edge. I know that much. I'm just glad to get away. Anyway, how was your day? Anything happen? Eh, uh, no. Didn't get told off by a teacher? No, but it's that board, really. I hardly spoke to anyone. All day? Yeah, crap, eh? Uh, do you want to do Yeah, whatever. Can I try this in the next size down, please? It's just a little bit back around here. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I don't have your size, Lindsay, but between you and me, I don't really think it's your colour, do you? Do not shout. Do you hear me? Or you can forget ever seeing your lovely daughter again. Shh, 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 shh. You and I need to have a chat. We need to get a few things sorted without. I've waited a long time to see you in the flesh. Not bad. Not bad at all. You think about it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm not that stupid. Not in here. Shame about the bruises, though. They spoil the effect. Left over from our tussle the other night, are they? What do you think? <laughs> Duh. I obviously don't know my own strength. What do you want? And does Rose know you're here? <laughs> I know you have this special relationship with my wonderful sister-in-law and that you think that somehow grants you immunity. But let's get a few things straight, sweetheart. Rose and Alistair are not going to be breathing down my neck forever. And when the pressure's off, when they have moved on to the next little project, I'll be back. So you keep looking over that pretty shoulder of yours because I will always be there, watching and waiting.
Lindsay, look at the time. Why didn't you wake me? Well, what happened to your alarm clock? She's on early's down the garage. Right, tapestry notes, where are you? Oh, don't suddenly spring into life and give me a hand or anything, Lindsay. What? The pile of books I was wading through last night, tapestries from around the world. You know, me Millennium Project. Have you tried looking on one of them kitchen seats? I mean, that's where you were sat all night with your nose up against them. Oh, nice one. Cheers, kidder. You're up and about early, aren't you? Um, I'm going to the club. I'm interviewing for security. Oh, aye, first I've heard. First I've told you. I thought you might have wanted me there, you know. Expert opinion, like. Thanks, Dad, but I don't need you to hold my hand. Is that right? That isn't what you said the other week when you needed me to help you sort out that Finnegan lot. Look, Dad, all I'm doing is hiring some hard-looking fellas and asking them to stand at a door all night in a penguin cosy. I think I can cope with this one on my own, thanks. There's more to work in doors than just looking tough, you know. It's about knowing how to handle people, preventing trouble before it starts, not starting it by kicking off. I do know this, you know, Dad. I'm not stupid. Yeah, all right, all right. Just offering a bit of advice from an ex-bouncer, that's all, for what it's worth. What are you nosing at there? Um, I'm, I'm waiting for a cab. A cab? It's only a two-minute walk round to the club where you're on about. I've got some business to attend to first. What kind of business? Just business. Oh, right. Wouldn't have a jock accent and be a liver short of a major organ by any chance, would he? I told you, Dad. That's all sorted, so stop flapping. Anyway, here's my taxi. See you later. Yeah, see you. Time I got to answer it. Good, I couldn't stand talking to anybody this time of the morning, could I, Emma? Oh, let's go see your naughty brother in that terrible Blasted thing, get in. So how many people are doing this sort of thing, sir? Tapestry, Emily. And anyway, it's quality I'm after. Not a bunch of divvies who don't know their cross stitch from the whatever. So it's just me then. Listen, it's early days, yes. As soon as the word gets out about my latest craze, I'm telling you there'll be a mad rush to sign up, you wait and see. Yeah, if you say so, say. Hi, Nan. Hi, love. See you later, sir. See ya. What was all that about? I hope you're not in trouble, Emily Shadwick. No, we were just talking about the new Millennium Tapestry that we're making in school. Mr Corkill's organising it. What's that when it's at home? We've been for the last forever. January the 1st, the year 2000, the new Millennium. I am perfectly aware of what the Millennium means. And it's not some eyesore in London that nobody wants, built by Germans and paid for out of the poor taxpayers' money. I don't get you, Nan. It's 2,000 years since the birth of Christ. Oh, that? Yes, oh, that. And I hope your tapestry is going to reflect what the millennium means to Christians throughout the world. I don't know yet. Mr Corkill said it's up to the kids to decide. But he is talking about getting the community involved. You know, like it's some big project or something. What's the matter? One o'clock, Chester Race's life's rich tapestry. Now, if that isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Since when have you been into horse racing? Since Alec invited me out for a day at the races in Chester. All right, sneaking off again, are you? Just the two of you. But uh, I didn't think you Christians were allowed to gamble. Christianity isn't all about sitting in drafty churches clapping, you know, Em. We are allowed to have some fun occasionally. See you later. Ah, very personal. Hiya. I have a damp patch. And before you ask, no, it's not because I'm pleased to see you. Oh, why not? Because we have a leak between us. You what? And all I know is that there's a blue rinse tidal wave seeping its way through my walls. Ah, uh, when it's making your briefs go all soggy, is it? Barristers have briefs. Solicitors have, um... Mm. Well, if you could look at it. Well, just your leak, you mean? Yes. Yeah, OK. Well, I've just got over to the club, but I'll be back in about an hour. I wanted to talk about that contract with Lindsay anyway. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I need to talk to you about that, too. OK, see ya. you 
complaining, are they? I'm sorry. I thought we had an understanding. You promised me that you'd keep that scum away from me. By scum, I take it you mean Callum. Oh, nice gene pool you've got there. Your folks must be very proud. Callum has no reason to come near you. I've told him to stay away myself. Yeah. Well, he must have misheard then. Cos it wouldn't cause sneaking up and threatening me staying away. He told me that one day you wouldn't be watching and then we'd have some business to settle. Did you know about this? Course not. I'm sorry. I thought we had this all settled. I want your word that he won't come near me again. Cos if he does, I will kill him. Well, you have mine. Perhaps we should hear what Callum's got to say for himself. What's your problem? I thought you liked working down at the school. Yeah, I do. The bigger kid's giving you a hard time. <laughs> you so what's the problem, then? Just forget about it, eh? And, hey, I don't want you standing around all day going gooey-eyed. Two minutes and I want you back down at that school working. Hiya, James. What's over your face? Another five minutes in there and would have gone mental. I've been off my feet all morning. Susanna's still giving you an hard time, then? She's been really horrible these last few days. She's been treating me like a right skivvy. Now he's been playing up, crying all the time and wanting attention. Just put your foot down, Strange. She can't keep treating you like this. I know. I've told her I want to sit down and talk about my hours. She said she'll think about it, which was the start. So where are you off to now, then? Anywhere but here. You don't fancy me enough for lunch, do you? No, he doesn't. He can't afford to take time off work. Not if he's going to keep you in the manner you're accustomed to. <sighs> see you later. 12 o'clock, Barbara. I'll see you in there. Nice one, Dad. What's up with the Rapunzel? Is she getting a hard time off, Susanna? Yeah, Susanna's been a real tight one at the moment. She's working a load of extra hours to help her out. She hasn't had a minute to herself. Yeah, well, it's not a nine-to-five job looking after two babies, you know. I like that. And since when have you been so concerned with what goes on over there? I'm not, I'm just saying. <laughs> I forgot about your special interest. You what? You, do me George Clooney routine delivering Susanna's baby? The poor kid. First thing it's saw in all the world was your ugly mug. She'll be in therapy for years. <laughs> uh, so you take them under that slag over your own brother? You've lied to me before, so what's it different now? She stole our money. You tried to rape her? I was trying to protect what's ours while we still have something worth fighting for. Oh, fighting? Is that what you call it? Getting out your one-eyed Scotsman and trying to... She is laughing at us! You'd have to be blind not to see it. You are, aren't you? Laughing all the way to the bank with our money. You have got some balls. And I wish they were yours, in a vice. Really? I tell you one thing. I just hope for your sake you did not steal our money. Callum. And for the sake of that pretty little daughter of yours. Alistair! Now, that's enough. You go anywhere near my daughter, and I swear it'll be the last thing you ever do. <laughs> so you're threatening babies now? I can't believe I wasted my breath talking her out of shooting you. She'd have been doing us both a favour. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting about your new man conversion. You know what's going to happen, don't you, if you let her get away with this? Every Tom Dicker dipstick around here who fancies himself is going to be falling over themselves to have a pop at you. And when word gets out that the king is dead, you can kiss all this goodbye. You agreed to keep away from Lindsay. I'm sorry, darling, did you speak? You agreed to back off. Ah, uh ah, -uh. I was told to back off. Because we don't want any more of this nonsense. It isn't good for business. We? <laughs> oh, it's we now, is it? Did you hear that? You're a double act. Not many laughs, mind you, but then you can't hear everything. At least I can trust her. I'll tell you one thing. I'm just glad my father isn't here to see his son being dictated to by a couple of stupid lassies. You satisfied? He won't bother you again. Thanks. Are you sure the car will be all right here? Yeah, the cause is only two minutes away. If you're worried about breaking your neck in them shoes, I can always give you the piggyback. <laughs> Do you think they're a bit too much? I haven't worn heels like this for years. I'm only winding you up. You look cracker. Look at the state of you with those things. Why don't you get yourself a new pair? Plenty of life left in these, yeah. Just need a spot of glue. You'd be as good as new. Maybe I'll get you a new pair out of me winnings. You're getting ahead of yourself a little bit there, girl. Those boogers don't drive around their mechs for no reason, you know. I'm not going to go mad. Just a few pennies. 
Anyway, I've already picked my first winner. Uh, White Rich Tapestry. It's a donkey. <laughs> and judging by its age, it probably came in on the ark. Well, I'm putting money on it. Has your Kelly said anything to you about this tapestry at school? It's meant to celebrate the millennium. Can't say she has, although I dare say if Emily's involved, Kelly won't be far away. Our Emily seems very keen, in a sort of teenage, not bothered sort of way. I never had her down as a seamstress, though. The greatest exponent with the needle and thread I ever saw was this fella on the ferries. Fascinating. Oh, I like those colours. Cream and gold quarters with a green cap. I think I'll have a pound on that one as well. A girl called Jeff. It's 33 to 1. I'll leave picking the horses to the expert if I were you. Right, that's two o'clock this Friday. No, just bring yourself. OK, we'll see you then, Mr Mottram. Bye-bye. Is he in? Can you see any evidence of balloons or champagne corks popping? Er, uh, no. Nope. Then he's in. You come to inspect the damage? Is it bad? A little trip in his office. She'll be company for him. Ah, Miss Dixon, I'll be with you in a minute. OK. You'll have to type this again. Why, what's wrong with it? Well, apart from the fact that the spacing is all wrong and your freestyle use of the Queen's English betrays a hidden talent for the avant-garde, you've misspelt magistrate. I'll get right on to it. I await the results with bated breath. Oh, are you still there so you can clock and cleavage again? <sighs> no, not at all. So, what about this contract with Lindsay? Yes, I'm afraid I've run into a conflict of interest. Why? How come? Well, unfortunately, I can't represent you, as Miss Corkhill is already an existing client. Since when? Well, it seems that I inherited her from the previous incumbents of this office, along with the plastic plants, the tasteful decor and Miss Rogers, of course. And you're only just telling me this now? Yes, I'm sorry. It was uh, an oversight. Yeah, too busy looking at me boobs, Marley. <sighs> well, I hardly think that has anything to do with... Right, then. Well, uh, maybe now you'd like to look at this damp patch? I tell you what. On second thoughts, I think I'll get someone a bit more objective to take a look. It's possibly a conflict of interest for me. He loves himself him, doesn't he? <sighs> Maybe I'll get something done about that leak down. He's just the sort to see you for comp out. Yeah, I will in time. So did you know about this Lindsay business? Only today. She's got an appointment with him this week. Really? What is she playing her? Probably the same as you. Looking out for number one. I'll better get myself another lawyer then and sharpish. I'll see you later. Well, that's if I'm allowed out. I've probably got a surprise test on my timetables coming up. Well, nice of you to call. It's always an experience. Yeah, well, you won't be offended if I say hope I don't see you again too soon. You're not forgetting our agreement. The 57,000 you stole, I still want it back. <sighs> oh, you'll get your money. First of December, as promised. As long as you keep that animal on his choke chain. But if for any reason we don't get our money, we'll watch you back anyway. Don't worry. I intend to. I don't know what you're rushing off for. Just let Susanna do this weapon for once. You deserve some time off. I oh, know, but I feel dead guilty about leaving my room with two babies to cope with. You mad you? Well, it's only your job. To you, maybe, but not to me. Yeah, but you don't need it, do you? You just go back and work for your old fella. I'm like you, you mean? What's that supposed to mean? Well, that's the easy route, isn't it? Hey, hang on a minute. I'm not the one who's going off his cake about the universe and life and everything. And I actually quite like working with me old fella. Most of the time. That'd be the same anywhere, wouldn't it? <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, babe. It's just... Well, with me mum and dad giving me grief because we got engaged without permission. The last thing I want to do is go home and say I can't hold my job down. Look, I better go. I'll see you later. It was a fluke, that girl. You couldn't do that again if you tried. Well, if you like, we could always go back to the course and see if any of your horses have finished running yet. That's right, you gloat. Nothing worse than a bad winner. I told you, life's rich tapestry. It's your own fault for not backing it. That wasn't even the worst of it. What about the one in the last race, Slow Collier? A shy horse if there ever was one. Well, I wouldn't know. But then again, as you've been telling me all morning, you're the racing guru. How about a bag of chips and a walk by the river? Your treat. Oh, you're not too proud to have a woman paying for you, then. I think it's the least I deserve, and I haven't even mentioned the petrol money yet. Oh, go away. Oh, oh, oh Alec, I'm so sorry. It's 
these shoes? My fault, Gail. Trying to save coppers. How have you been? Oh, well, you certainly picked the right moment to disappear and you just managed to get the pair of them down for their nap. Right. I mean, honestly, one minute Harry's fine, the next minute he's screaming his head off and amazed Emma gets any sleep at all. And one person put them to bed, another one getting up in the morning. Must be very confusing for him. He's only eight months old, Katrina. But babies are very sensitive to the environment. Any change can really upset them. This is just another way of getting around to your hours, is it? No, of course not. But I do think if there was more of a routine... Oh, if it's for me, tell them I've emigrated. It's back. Oh, um... Hi. Yeah, I, uh, just came over to check if everything was OK, you know, with the jobs I did. Um, yes. Y uh, yes. Yeah, everything's fine. Um, sorry about the mess. You can see that, please. Uh, Katrina, could you go and see through the children, check if they're OK? Sure. <sighs> Thanks. You look tired. <laughs> well, one of the joys of motherhood, I'm afraid. Look, um, I didn't just come here to ask about your health. I've been over there all morning. <sighs> Trying to pluck up the courage, I suppose. It was your idea just to be friends. I thought this was what you wanted. Yeah, it was, but it doesn't stop me thinking about you. I'm on here, Katrina, moaning to our Jason about the hours you're making her work. And now you seem depressed. You heard what? She just said how you seemed down lately. And you were finding it difficult to cope with Harry. She said that? So I was worried about you and I wanted to come here and make sure everything was OK. <gasps> what a nerve! Two minutes she's been here and she's already making me out to be some sort of unfit mother. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, well, perhaps you'd feel differently if it was your reputation being slandered all over the close. Well, she was just sound enough. <phone rings> Hang on a sec. <sighs> Hello, Greg Shadwick. Oh, hiya, Jackie. What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah, I can be there in five minutes. I'm just as Susanna's. Um, no, she's not here. I was just sorting a few things for her, but I'm almost finished now. I'll get straight over there. All right, I'll see you. Uh, sorry, but I, I didn't want to talk to anybody at the moment. You sure you're all right? I can stay if you want. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm fine, really. Um, you better go. I need to have a word with your future daughter-in-law. Right, um, I'll see myself out then. Hiya. Is he in? Good job, too, or I'd more than likely end up on a murder charge the way he's been since you ripped into him, burst his bubble. Hey, he's not after me. And anyway, if the job's up, that's why I think you're just jacking in. Because I like my job and I want to do well at it. I'm not going to let some toffee-nosed little snob push me out. Besides, he's always the same with that cow of a wife of his has been on his case. Worse than me, is she? Well, let's tell him that Greg Shadwick's on the case of the mysterious Lee. Do you fancy sticking around and telling him yourself, do you? I can't, Casey. I've got loads to do. I've been trying to ring Susanna all day, but all I keep getting is that Katrina one telling me she's unavailable. Not your day for mixing with the upper classes, is it? <laughs> See you later. See you later. I hope you're not shagging off. I'm delivering a letter for Mrs Gidlow, actually. And it's bunking off. No-one says sagging anymore. Same difference. How long are you going to be working around here? What's that got to do with you? It's embarrassing. Every time I turn around, you're there spying on me. Aye, aye. You got something to hide, have you? No, of course not. Anyway, I've got better things to do with me time than go around spying on you, sprog. Oh, yeah? Like unblocking the lad's box. It's degrading. Me and brother being the school skivvy. Everyone's laughing at me. Yeah. Well, you won't have to worry about it anymore for today, snotty knickers. Cos as soon as I'm finished here, I'm going round to me nan's. I'm gonna fix that bathroom cabinet she's been on at me dad to do for ages, if that's all right with you. Well, I wouldn't waste me time, cos she won't be there. Says who? Me. I bumped into her on the way to school this morning. She just told me that she'd be out all day. Well, she never said her name to the old fella when he rang first end. No, eh. Uh, she had a cleaning job to do. Somewhere out of town. She said it'd take her hours. I thought she had the day off. Yes, she did. Uh, it was a last-minute thing, you know. Well, it all sounds a bit mulder and scully, if you ask me. God, you know what, Jay? She's done off. Go on. I'd be surprised if I didn't get a detention for the amount of time I've been out of class, thanks to you. Oh, I'm sorry, Alec. I really am. 
It was stupid of me to wear these shoes, trying to show off my ankles. <laughs> Never noticed. When you get your glasses fixed, get them to check your eyes, will you? You spend long enough looking. Can't drive like this, though. My perspective's all shot. You're gonna have to take the wheel, I'm afraid, girl. Me? I can't drive. I never learned. Never learned to drive? Well, I never had the need. The bus was always good enough for me. Until now. It's 30 miles back home. Well, coming all this way out was your idea. I'd have been quite happy going to Aintree. I think you should have said, forgive me for trying to expand your horizons. Alec, we are sitting in a pub car park in Chester. It's not exactly the hanging gardens of Babylon. Never had the need. I've heard a lot now. First your teeth, now your specs. I'm too frightened to think what you're going to lose next. Get up, me woman. It's me other leg that's made of wood, but all me vital bits are still working. Oh, are they now? Not in four I'll just have to try and drive with one eye shut. Won't we just end up going round in circles if you do that? That's rowing with one arm, yes, soft. <laughs> I talk about life's rich tapestry. You can sit up here with me or in the boot. It's your choice. Could give you lessons. In what? Driving. Get me home in one piece and we'll think about it. Oh, that sounds promising. <laughs> Just drive, Alec. I think I'm ready for a dinner. Who gave you the right to discuss what goes on in this house with other people? Sorry? Well, apparently you've been discussing my state of mind with the neighbours. I don't know what you're on about. Well, Greg seemed very well informed. Susanna, I haven't said a thing, I swear. I just told Jason that you were thinking about me hours. Well, as Greg told it, I felt as if I was on trial, like I had to defend myself as a mother. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know where you got that from. What goes on between these four walls is not a matter for public debate. And as long as you're under this roof, I will expect you to respect my privacy. What about my privacy? You wouldn't even be having this conversation if you'd just sit down with me for five minutes and work out some sort of timetable. You knew the responsibilities of the job when you were offered the position. You knew it would mean long, unsocial hours and a large commitment from yourself. And I've done all that, but I've got my own life as well, you know. You can't keep expecting me to look after your children whenever you want to just forget them. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. This may not be perfect. And this may not fit in with what you were taught during your training, but this is the real world. This is the way it is. And if you don't like it, maybe you should consider leaving. But I don't want to leave. I'm happy here, honest. I just think you're being unfair. I'll see to her. I wouldn't want to take up any more of your precious time. Next, we're weighing up the pros and cons of the 4x4s. Stay on board for Driven. <laughs>